Hello, and it's Monday, and we're going to start with, uh, well, today's April Fool's Day, and uh, interesting verse to start off with today, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. Um, he who has a lack hand, a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Um, he who gathers in the summer is a wise son, but he who sleeps in the harvest is the son who causes shame. It's talking about being foolish here, right? Um, you know, God's saying, you know, you need to be diligent. We live in a society of entitlement, don't we? Uh, I deserve this simply because I am. You know, God created the world for you. You were entitled to live on this world, but then God says, hey, do something with what I gave you. You need to do that with that. That is how, how you feel worth. People get everything handed to them are not very humble, not very kind, not very compassionate people. And, you know, they typically don't really need Jesus in their life either, do they? Um, we because they don't then realize the, the 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 feel good of an honest day's work, um, and doing things. You know, saying I'm going to do this now. Well, everything always work out. Sometimes we'll work and things won't. But that God says, I bless that person. I bless that guy. Um, just don't don't be foolish. Don't 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 go well, go through life and say I'm just going to skate skate by on everything. No, no, that's not how life is going to be. Number six, blessings are on the head of the righteous, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the righteous is blessed, but the name of the wicked will rot. Um, the righteous. Now, righteous doesn't mean perfect. It doesn't mean, because a lot of people go, well, you go to a church of hypocrites. Well, you know what? Hypocrite is a person who intentionally does the wrong thing for the wrong reasons to fool someone else. Uh, people go to church, still, they're still going to do wrong things. They're still going to mess up. But what they're trying to do is get better. They're trying to say, God, forgive me. I've done this again. How many times have we do things over and over again and we want someone to forgive us? The, glad, the great thing is, is God always forgives us. And blessings are on the head of the righteous. God will bless those who try to do righteous. Why? Because he wants you to encourage you to keep doing. Okay. And it says the memory of the righteous is blessed. You might say the memory. Yeah, we still do things wrong. But we remember what we did wrong and know we don't we're not that same person anymore. God has forgiven us. Hey, yep, I need to stop doing that so I can have a better future. You know, that it helps us to be blessed. Where uh the name of the wicked, well, it, it rots, doesn't it? You know, those who do evil, uh the reputation, they, they they it just rots and not just in humans' eyes. They might think they're getting away with it. But God sees all things. So much better to try to be righteous than to be wicked for a short time. Remember, Moses said he'd rather, in, he didn't want to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short time, but he chose to endure the sufferings of the people of God, knowing that it would produce a long-term game being in heaven one day. Well, what, what a great thing that is. You find that in Hebrews chapter 11, by the way. Um, the wise in heart, uh, verse 8, will receive commands, but a prating fool will fall. He who walks with integrity walks securely, but he who perverts his way will become known. So he's talking about here, a person who walks with integrity, walks with a uh, head up high, saying, you know, I, I know what's right and I'm doing things. Uh, I'm not trying to trick anybody. I'm trying to lead anybody in the wrong direction. I'm, I'm going to walk in my tech. Yeah, everybody else is doing that, but I'm not going to jump off the bridge with them. I'm going to hold to my integrity. And and, uh, and that's and the why says they hold the commands. What's God say? Stay upright. Walk in the way of the God. Follow his commands. Even though everybody else is, I'm getting away with it. Remember, they're not getting away with it. They are the fools who think they are getting away with it. We need to be able to walk with it. Because he who perverts his ways, they, they, it will become known. It means when you do something wrong, it'll become known. You know, people see their integrity and they also know their ways. Um, I was in Texas at a church. Um, I, I, we had, There was a problem. Uh, and I was the chief financial officer of the church and this church did millions of dollars every year. And the pastor wanted to take all the money and go start another church and leave the debt there and just leave it for the bank, leave it for the, 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 the domination and all that. And that, that was not right. And, and I had to, I had to stand up to him and say, Hey, this is not the way it is. He eventually left. I eventually saved the money from the church. He wanted me to write him checks. I did, but I had, but because I was chief financial officer, I had the power, went to the bank and put a stop payment order on the checks. And then I let the, the powers to be come in and sort it all out. And they did. Uh, and uh, there was one guy uh, who left uh, with the other pastor. And that pastor, when I did that and took away his money, uh, he, he, he had some threats against me. He even gave me a death threat. Uh, and I was like, man, you really were a pastor? Man, come on. And, uh, and, 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 you know, just because someone says pastor doesn't mean they're a pastor. And also pastors can make mistakes. Okay. Uh, I've forgiven him. We've actually had a conversation uh, years later, took years later. 
uh, and actually it was right before I came to, to where I am now, Punxsutawney. Uh, so it was about eight and a half years ago. But, um, but what happened was after one of the guys who left with him and believed what the guy was saying, um, and uh, uh, called me and because I stayed behind to help the church. And uh, he said uh, he had given a large gift to go to a certain missionary. And he knew that when all these people left, the church would be in trouble, wouldn't be able to pay their bills. Uh, at least that's what he thought. Uh, and uh, so he called me up and he said, hey, uh, you, you, you know, I, 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 I know there's a mess going on and all that, but uh, I want to know about that donation they gave. And it was seven thousand dollars. And I, I and he said, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're going to send that right to, to the to the missions like you gave it to missions It's going to go right to the missionaries. And he's like, okay, that's great. And I just want to let you know something, Pastor Devin. And I said, what? And he said, uh, just as far as, just so you know, um, I, I, I appreciate your integrity, and I, I believe you're an integrous person. You know that that's that's something you you, you can't buy for that. You know, and you, you, you know, integrity, you know, will go a long way. Whether it goes a long way with people, it doesn't matter, but it goes a long way with the Lord, who one day will bless you for doing that. You ever wondered the doing the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do? One of our sayings in church, it definitely pays off in all of eternity. So have a great day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. And you are absolutely awesome.